Hi. In this video, we'll use Burp Suite to test for blind XXE vulnerabilities. Blind XXE injection vulnerabilities occur when an application is vulnerable to XXE injection, but doesn't return the values of any defined external entities within its responses. This means that direct retrieval of server-side files isn't possible. You can use Burp to inject an XXE payload that may trigger an out-of-band network interaction with the Burp Collaborator server. Burp monitors the Collaborator server to identify whether an out-of-band interaction occurs. This indicates that the XXE attack was successful. If you'd like to follow along with this demo, you can use the lab Blind XXE with Out-of-Band Interaction from our Web Security Academy. Once the lab has launched, we need to identify a request that contains XML that we want to investigate. For this lab, we're going to check the stock for an item and then go to the Proxy HTTP History tab to find the request. Right-click the request and choose Send to Repeater. Insert an XXE payload into the XML string. The payload should define an XML entity and contain a Collaborator subdomain as a value. We can add the Collaborator subdomain by right-clicking and selecting Insert Collaborator Payload. Click Send. Now go to the Collaborator tab. If the Collaborator has been polled and interactions have been detected, the tab will flash. When you go to the tab, you can click Poll Now to poll for the latest interactions. The results will be listed in the table. If an entry appears in the table for the Collaborator subdomain you used, this indicates that the XXE attack successfully triggered an interaction. There may be a delay before any interaction with the Collaborator server occurs so make sure you continue to check the tab to identify any delayed interactions. You can test additional XML data values by replacing a different data value in the XML with your defined XML entity. 